welcome back to my scrappy space. All right. This is my Through the Rainbow Challenge using the color green. Now, if you saw my video last week, I had went through all of my paper and I knew that I was gonna be using two different sets, either the striped, which I decided not to. I decided to go with this green, and I know this looks a little funny right now, but this was the other side of that. And I flipped this over and I loved it. And so I had set this aside to use in my yellow and I had placed it on this stripe and I loved it. So I was very inspired with it, so I went with it. And as Janet has been working through her base pages, very simple layout, it's just trimmed down and I corner around it. Janet's happy horizontal. I don't use these very often and so I thought it worked well. I just grabbed some green washi and I am going to scrapbook a beautiful photo of my daughter-in-law and my son. This was for their fourth year anniversary and um, that was earlier this month. So I'm gonna put this down here. I went ahead and grabbed some of my dyes and oh, Joanne Bartel, that girl, she got me going on these florals and the layers and I just love them. And so I just ink the edges of them and then I'm just gonna fluff them up here a little bit. I'm gonna place them, a couple of them around here. So my green layout, it's not all green, but it's okay. I was in my color section and that's what we wanna do is we wanna encourage everybody to get into our color and play with the different pieces that we have in there. And this was all from a Tim Holtz I believe it was Tim Holtz, just a second. No, it wasn't. It was, it's just a Sizzix, sorry if there's a glare. But this is the die, oh it is Tim Holtz, sorry. But this is the die set that I'm using and I love this, love it, it's so fun. So anyways, I went ahead and built some of these florals up. And of course this isn't gonna stay like this exactly. But just kind of giving you a layout of it. And then I went ahead and grabbed Another one over here. This will be tucked in, I'm sure. And then just gonna layer a couple of more of these florals. And then I went ahead and cut some of these little tiny ones because I'm just gonna place them around. I don't know if I'm gonna put them on the branch or what exactly I'm going to do. And then I went ahead and cut a bunch of leaves out as well. So those will be tucked in. And as I said, this is for my daughter-in-law and my son's fourth anniversary. They sent this picture. Of course, I can't get a hold of that right now. Shoot it across, Donna. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that. And then for the title, I wanted to do something with the number four. So I put eyes for you. <laughs> so that is going to be my title and I might put a couple of these little flowers down here. I love these dyes you guys. These And these are the ones that I've been using. And these are Tim Holtz as well. These thinlets. And the nice thing is, is there's like, there's seven E's. So if you want to do something really quick, and put the whole title on there and zip it through. It works fabulously. Absolutely fabulously. So, eyes for you. So that will be my title. I really like that. Really like that. So I'll come back and I'll have it all put together. Okay, I am in love with this. And I know that it took on more of a yellow theme than just a green, but I did get into my green paper. I did use the green that I had. I just turned it over, that's all. And I mean, if we're using our product, we're using our product. And if we love it, we love it, right? So anyways, I went ahead and added these little Hero Hues gemmies, or gems, excuse me. I have had these 
you guys, I have had these forever, ever, ever. And I love them, and they're so cute. So I added um, some just sprinkled about. I put the bigger ones in the bigger flowers. I then had some of these gems. I have no idea where they came from. And I added them to the little flowers, and I went ahead and adhered this down. I had a green butterfly, so I did put that on there, and I found a little strip in my books that I'm trying to really focus on using. And then I just put the date, because it was really nothing other than that this was their fourth anniversary, and my son has been working 16 hours a day, and so, and it was on a Thursday, but bless his heart, he did bring her a dozen roses, and they did celebrate on the weekend, but you know how that goes, adulting. It was really fun to go through my green paper and just really solidify in my mind, do you like it? Do you love it? Will you use it? And the thing is, is will you use it that is the key to me right now because I have been finding that even if I love the paper, well, not really love the paper. If I love it, I keep it. But if I just kind of like it and it's a dark, dark paper, I may not keep it. I am finding that I'm having a hard time scrapbooking with the darker papers, but I'm, I'm trying to be careful about it and just not purge everything. I hope that makes sense. And I also wanted to come back and share with you just a little bit. I... It was super early when I taped that um, first video. And the Happy Horizontal is a base page that Janet does frequently. And I'm gonna list her videos down below. And then she also has a Patreon account. But she talks about the base pages and the Happy Horizontal. And they're just such a wonderful way to use your product and just kind of get going on a layout. Okay, everybody, I wanna thank Jeannie and Scylla and Sarah and Michelle and Kelly and Lauren and Ginger, all the ladies that are playing along with this Through the Rainbow Challenge, please check out their links below. They are fabulous creators and I hope you guys have a super amazing day and you're out there making some memories. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.